right, so I don't know if you can see all of the dandelions in the car. Oh, you see it behind me? There you go, put them in focus there. Right, all in two and more here. And now um, I picked these up from the um, uh, bee farm, the new bee farm, Okera Blueberry Bee Farm. We don't have bees yet, but we're getting all ready with flowers and other things. I'm actually moving these, which were around the chestnut trees. I actually just, you know, instead of just cutting them down, I'm actually moving um, the flowers. And I'm moving these, which I don't have, all the way. I'm going to put these to the top um, or the middle. or the I don't know where I'm going to put them. Probably the bottom, because I don't, you know, they're going to be making a, um, a temple. So I'm going to put those probably halfway down or something and um, plant them here in uh, at the river riverside behind. So be far. Um, what time is it? Ten. So I got up. I was there at nine. So I spent an hour picking flowers, seeds, and also now weeding. And uh, go there, plant these, go take a shower, and off to work by one o'clock. Sounds like a plan. All right, uh, my uh, screen's dark. I think um, I'm looking at myself. I think. Let's see here. So uh, it's uh, coming up. It's 12 o'clock. It's work in an hour. So I just finished doing my project. Here I am at the at the bee farm, and uh, it's not gonna. There I am. So I'm the right way. So <laughs> here are the, um, I didn't go do a picture. This is actually sunflowers. That's sunflowers, These daisies. I just, I need to water them. I'll water them again tonight. They're weeds. <coughs> um, and the idea is they'll spread. So um, the bees should be happy. The ever-evolving bee farm. So this is uh, June 13, and uh, this little project done. The idea is I'm trying to create the habitat, the right habitat for the bees, organic habitat. You know, people talk about, you know, oh, they got organic honey. Organic honey, my ass. If they're going over here and feeding on systemic pesticides, it's not organic. The goal here is to transform this riverbanks. All right. Uh, into a habitat with specifically designed for honeybees. So everything from sunflowers to clover, you know, uh, to um, rape, um, you know, radish, all of that there. That's the goal. And uh, it's not, I mean, it's not something you're going to do in one year. It's going to take 5, 10, 15, 20 years to do. But the opportunity is to really do something cool. The challenge I face, obviously, is flooding, you know. But that's why I'm putting these on the bank. Um, I may have to move my bees up here. Make this my beehive up here, and they'll look down here. Problem is the wind. You know, i got many challenges. You've got a lot of challenges when you're doing beekeeping. Um, that's a high spot there. Over on that side right there, I may move them over there. So um, that would probably be the best place to move them. There was a bee flying over me. Whoa, he just went in. So the bees are active. I don't know if you can see them. They're flying around. They're doing their thing. Um, you know, they're kind of weak. I'm probably going to take them and put them in the garage over the, over, over to winterize, winterize them and uh, seal it, you know, put them in the garage, I think. They have a better chance of surviving. Um, I don't know yet. So... But I got to go to work now, teaching, teaching art class with my three to six-year-olds.